Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the prokaryotic cell injury. So, the prokaryotic cell injury will lead to death of the bacteria. So, pro means before, karyon means nucleus. It means the prokaryot is the bacteria. So, not contain nucleus. Prokaryot is bacteria can experience various type of injuries that can affect their growth, survival and overall function. In this video, we will understand overall the overview of the prokaryotic cell injury. So, what is the side effect in our body and what is the benefit we will understand in this video. This is the bacterial general structure is the cytoplasm, DNA, extracellular matrix, intracellular matrix, membrane, cell wall and plasmid as well as flagellum. It is used for the movement. The physical damage is due to the light and heat as well as the mechanical stress. The cell wall, membrane and internal damage can occur due to the mechanical and the mechanical disruption as well as shear stress. Chemical exposure is the expose of the chemical to the bacteria will lead to death of the bacteria due to the cellular damage. The toxic substance is the pollutants, metals, antibiotics and dysfunctions as well as the natural toxins, uh, antibiotics and the uh, disinfectants, sorry, dysfunction, no, disinfectant. The osmotic stress is the extreme changes of osmolarity. In this way, the sodium or uh, the uh, 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 sodium decrease or increase constriction and the homeostasis disrupt. It means the salt constriction decrease or increase of bacterial cell for nutrient uptake and in this way the internal osmotic condition will change will lead to die of the cell, the death of the bacterial cell. Nutritional decline is also affect the injury of the cell. In this way, the carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus and traces for growth and survival is too much important. Will lead to decrease of nutrients, lead to metabolism disrupt, growth and reproduction de decrease, will lead to food when decrease will lead to uh, cell injury and in this way the cell will be die. So the death of the bacterial cell. The antibiotic action we will discuss separately here is the antibiotic damage cell wall. For example, the penicillin. The penicillin is uh, extract from the penicillium, is the fungi. The antibiotic will target the cell wall or the protein synthesis inhibit due to the DNA damage, like plasmid. The viral infection is also important like the bacteriophage replication and bacteriophage infection will lead to bacterial cell lysis and replicate more bacteriophage. Environmental stress is the uh, important which that is contain heat as well as the exposure to UV radiation. In this way the continuously exposing of your skin will damage the bacterial colony is the microbiome on our skin disrupt metabolic pathway cellular components and genetics will lead to injury of the cell first uh, basically here is you can see the extreme uh, in, uh, temperature and the pH also lead to environmental stress the side note is the prokaryotic organisms have evolved various mechanisms to repair injuries such as DNA repair system, stress response pathway and the adaptation strategies, long term exposure cause death and injury but the uh, CRISPR-Cas9 mechanism will inhibit the uh, injury of the cell in this way the repairing mechanism also present in the bacteria but the long term exposure of the uh, exposure of the injury per, uh, injury triggering uh, agent will lead to cause uh, damage of the bacterial cell. This is the DNA. So the UV radiation or heat as well as the chemical like antibiotics will target the cell wall or DNA will lead to damage of the DNA. So what will be happen after the DNA damage? 
we will discuss also but remember that things the infection of the bacteriophage in where the dna inject the dna will bind with the plasmid and in this way the plasmid will be recombinant so what will be happen we will discuss also on the other hand the increase of the salt the hypertonic condition will lead to also uh, increase that hypertonic condition of the cell of the bacteria will lead to abnormal function and in this way the water will be decreased but the salt concentration will increase will lead to dna damage or dna malfunction in this way the protein will decrease due to the synthesis the transcription to translation and metabolism will decrease and lead to cell death because the transcription is important due to the dna the protein function will be inhibit so remember and the metabolism will be decrease because the water decrease and the salt concentration increase the hypotonic condition due to the less water while the salt increase will lead to malfunction of the bacteria the high acidic medium where the bacteria are present will lead to proton move into the bacteria will lead to decline the ph more acidic will lead to cell lysis the plasmid replicate as well as the re, uh, bacteriophage replication stop the function of the bacteria and more bacteria the bacteriophage will infect the other bacteria as well as itself will lead to lysis of the cell in this way completely decline of the bacterial colony important note is that microbiome in git microbiome in git the large intestine contain microbiota importantly is the cecum here is a ascending transfer descending and sigmoid colon but the important thing is the cecum contain a colony of microbiome which that is the gut flora and the antibiotics and chemical will inhibit this gut flora and die the starch fermentation is important due to the gut flora will produce a short chain fatty acid from the starch fermentation and vitamin like e vitamin and a vitamin as well as k this all mechanism decrease lead to vitamin deficiency and this all things is healthy diet exercise and environmental influence will lead to change the gut flora the skin also contain healthy microbiome protect the skin as a innate immune uh, uh, innate immune system is a barrier immune system our use of chemical product like sanitizer kill the bacteria it means uh, don't use too much sanitizer don't bath again and again don't wash hand again and again the vaginal microbiome our use is of lubricant or sex related products will kill the healthy microbiome like perfume as well as other things sanitizer also used for the vaginal microbiome killing so in this way also the protection of vag vaginosis and the vaginal yeast overgrowth the candida i hope you make sense about that this is this is the prokaryotic cell injury 